And just to demonstrate this a little bit better, I'm going to sneak this in here. So I got the brushes here. I'm going to select a basic hard brush here. And we're going to go grab a fill layer, right click it, add a black mask, and we're going to be painting right onto that black mask here. Uh, so for instance, we have our basic hard brush. If I hold down control and go up and down, that's going to control that fall off, that hardness fall off. And then left and right is going to be the size of it. If I want to put an alpha in here, all I got to do is I can scroll over to this alpha section. And if I just click on here, it's going to automatically update my alpha. So as I'm going through here, I can just kind of click and get a new alpha. You're going to see if I scroll up in the brush settings, it's going to change this alpha on the fly. Now, a lot of these alphas are going to have different settings. So if I go in here to this little three arrow alpha, and you scroll down, you're going to say you have, you can see you have width parameters, you have the quantity parameters, so you can get more or less. So there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Even things you may not... It's, uh, Make this area a little bit bigger. Expect to have extra control. Like if I switch it over here to sign dog, you can actually go in here and you can invert the sign or you can hide the border or you can hide the symbol inside and just have the border. It's a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, but if we go over here to like uh, the sign, the power sign, so we can say put a little on off symbol on here. Let's say we want to go through and stamp this. So now I just have a white fill layer and a uh, black mask. So I can go through here and I can just stamp that on there. So if I want to change this color or the emissive or the height, I can go back to the fill layer and say, you know what, do I want to emboss this or kind of stamp it in or out? Now we'll go ahead and stamp it out. And of course, if you want to change the color, it's all basically non-destructive because it's a fill layer with just a mask. Uh, however, if I want to go through here and make this bigger or smaller, I can hold down control. And you're saying to get more control options over here. So I can, I can control drag left and right to make it bigger or smaller. And then if I hold down control and left click, up and down is going to rotate it. Uh, left and right is going to change the flow, which I don't want to do in this case. Uh, but if I, again, hold down control and then left mouse button, I can sit here and rotate and then make it bigger or smaller and then rotate it around and I can push this uh, exactly where I want to. Now if you scroll down here and you may have seen like, oh, I can, there's, there's text in here so you can go through here and you can, oh, now you have stop. So you can rotate this around and make it bigger and go ahead and stamp stop. But what if I wanted to type in like, please stop. Well, there's no please stop and I'd have to go and make a, a different alpha. And in this particular instance, there's not a whole lot of options for this particular alpha. However, if you go in here and you, uh, in your alphas, you can type in font. That's going to be your ability to type things. You can also go in here to all and type in font or just go into alphas and scroll down to where the font section is. So where the F's are. Now, these are all the different fonts that you can choose. And with these fonts, you're going to see we have a text parameter in here. So we can go through and change this. So we can say, please stop, or you can say, please stop. And you can put those uh, on top of each other. You can change that alignment to left justified, center, or right. So we'll go ahead and keep it center. And now we can go through again, control, right click to make it bigger or smaller. Control left click to rotate it around. And then now we can go through here and we can stamp that wherever we'd like. 